Whoever once rode the rules of internet must reconsider at least the number 34. It's quite obvious that it should sound like, if it exists, then there is a simulator of it, no exceptions. Well, jokes aside, there are thousands of simulation games on the market, which vary in their quality, ideas behind them, and it seems that there is no job, a task or any other aspect of life left unseen so far. Yet creative minds still come up with more and more unexpected projects in this genre and variations of it. In two words, I would say that there are two types of simulation games. Those would have a gameplay in their front line, and the others would just wrap their stories into a game looking like cover. And you know what? It's actually not a bad thing. Unpacking is ingenious. The whole idea of the game is so simple that it's fairly shocking that yet nobody have ever used it before. In a nutshell, you play as a person in different stages of their life, moving from one place to another and the only thing what you need to do is to unpack stuff. Sounds boring, right? I mean, I didn't clean my own room, why should I do it in a game? You might ask yourself. Well, the answer to it lies beyond clicky drag and drop gameplay, and if you manage to see that, you'll be amazed. Unpacking is an extraordinary example of narrative design in the whole game industry. It is a book written within one rule. Show, don't tell. Nobody tells you anything about the person you are acting as about their likes, dislikes, what they do for a living, who they love. Nothing is told, yet everything is shown. And if you open your eyes and start thinking of the things you have been arranging, you will find yourself in a fabulous journey with a sweet ending. At one point, the game almost puts you in a trance, Repetitive gameplay, along with relaxing music, gives you a sense of meditation and makes you think about your own life, your stuff, your choices, your decisions. Because our things do represent who we are, don't they? The character grows, so do their stuff in quality and quantity. At the beginning, we start in our own bedroom as a teenager, when later on the number of boxes increases, as well as the number of rooms. The magic of pixel art still does a great job bringing up that warm and cozy atmosphere of childhood. For those who seek a challenge, Unpacking has got a list of stickers slash achievements which you can get if you organize stuff in the way it's really supposed to be. Sometimes the solutions are quite obvious, though not for all. For example, I didn't look for a challenge at all, yet I spent a lot of time on the thing what I just couldn't understand where to put. And what is that really? I still can get it. If you know, please let me know in the comments. Anyway, from my point of view, it would be way better if the game could give you hints and cut some slack once in a while. However, unpacking is a remarkable experience of mine, and I do recommend it to all of you. This is a simple, beautiful story, we just can't left you untouched. Because at the end, all of us are just boxes, with lots of stuff in them, aren't we? I highly recommend to give unpacking a try, and if you like what I do, don't forget to tell me about it in the comment section below, and of course, please make the like button white. See you next time, bye! Psst, call the ones you love, they deserve that. <laughs>